If your pediatrician tells you that your small child has a weight problem, what do you do? What you don't do is nothing. Because if your child has a problematic pattern of eating, the problem is likely to get worse. On the other hand, you don't want to create a new problem like a cycle of dieting or an eating disorder, which could happen if you harangue the child and micromanage what they're eating and tell them to eat less. That doesn't work. It just makes the child feel bad and the parent realizes it isn't working and they feel helpless. What you do do is you recognize the division of responsibility and who's in charge of what. As the parent, you are in charge of the food, what is in the house, where you're eating, the structure, the time of day, kind of like you are managing bedtime or homework. Now the child's responsibility is to determine how much and what they will eat from what you provide. Okay, sounds great, right? Let me give you some tips. The first thing you want to do is no harm. So you want to instill rules of of no teasing from other siblings, uh, no diet talk or weight talk, no dieting from the parent, and no dieting from the child. What you want to do is teach, set the child up to self-regulate because if you are providing them with high fiber foods that have protein and healthy fats with plenty of water and vegetables, they will be able to self-regulate. They will learn that and that is, is very much the key. Secondly, you want to get rid of the junk in the house. So get rid of any sweetened beverages like juice or soda or lemonade or Gatorade and instead focus on milk or unsweetened milks and, uh, and water. Now, you do have to be flexible. So let's say your child is, is craving some flaming hot Cheetos. You can stop at the market and pick up one small package on your way home. You don't need to keep an entire bag of Cheetos in your cupboard. You want to be careful not to keep the kinds of foods around that are going to be triggering. I've seen kids who are triggered by huge quantities of protein bars from Costco eating one after the other. So when you get rid of the junk, you have to make sure the house has an abundance of healthy meals and snacks available. For example, after school, kids are always really hungry. So when you pick them up, you got to be prepared. If you end up going through the drive through you're going to have to battle it out with french fries and cokes. So instead, when you pick up your child, make sure that you bring something with you if you know you're not coming straight home. Um, it could be a sandwich or a burrito. And if you don't have time to make one, pick one up on your way home. Now, if you uh, come directly home, again, you want to be prepared. You can keep a pot of soup on the stove for kids to eat. And if you don't cook, that's okay. You can buy a soup that you like. I like to um, have these, uh, these bean and cheese uh, taquitos from Trader Joe's. Uh, kids love those with a little bit of guacamole. I like, I like to keep a variety of frozen things on hand. I keep these chicken pot stickers and we uh, brown them and steam them and serve them with some frozen peas that are microwaved. Edamame is a nice thing to have with that. Now one rule that you also want to help your child self-regulate is always make sure there's a fruit and vegetable. You don't have to ask the child, it just shows up and then they're likely to eat it. Now sandwiches, by the way, are great for kids to make themselves. So if you provide the fixings, let them be creative and, and put it together. Or get a rotisserie chicken and let kids make their own tacos with the tortilla and some cheese and a little salsa. Very easy to do. Okay, thirdly, what you want to do is to try to eat at home most of the time. The more you can stay out of restaurants, the easier it will be. Because if you're at your favorite Italian restaurant and your child wants to have their fettuccine Alfredo, you don't want to duke that out in a restaurant. You want to be thinking about where you're going and what the plan is before you get there. And finally, you want to get organized for dinner. So you want to come up with like five super simple things that you can make almost by rote. And I'm going to show you what I have in the oven right now. I'm not sure it's quite done, but this is one easy thing that I do. I just take a sheet pan and I put my chicken thighs on it with some carrots and potatoes and green beans. And I just toss with olive oil and salt and pepper and put it in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes or so. And it's done. 
You can do burgers, those are really easy, but just come up with things that your kids love that are easy that you can manage. So listen, at the end of the day, be kind to your children and focus on how great they are. Remember, food works, deprivation and negativity do not, and that is smart eating.